talk about the four pillars I use in my career coaching. So in my career coaching, I focus on four things. So number one, I focus on the applications. So talking about resume, LinkedIn, cover letters, uh, different platforms, angel list, hired, other platforms as well, GitHub. So we're talking about the whole application, your digital presence on kind of when it comes to career, right? Your portfolio, your uh, website. That's what I focus on a lot. What I do focus on, what I do with students is uh, first try, let them critique or try to review their uh, profiles from a recruiter's perspective. So I build their empathy with the recruiter, build their empathy with the employer and tell them, you're a recruiter, do you hire yourself? And then they go through these different aspects of what we're trying to do. Then I can, because in my opinion, as a coach, the core message is that students do, do know what they have to do. Your goal is to facilitate the conversation. So I'm the leader of the process, they're the leader of the content, right? So that's the application part. The second thing is the presentation and the communication. So the interview, the on-site, the screening calls, right? The recruiter calls, uh, informational interviews, the follow-up uh, calls, the negotiation process, anything that requires verbal and um, communication, verbal communication, this is what I focus on, the second component. The third one is the, what I call it, connections. So again, we talked about teach, teaching them and helping them and instructing them and all great and coaching, but you also have to provide something, so small fish. So uh, connections is great. So I would say I have connections in the industry. I have 10,000 contacts on LinkedIn and other platforms. I can connect you to uh, somebody who works at this company, dream, dream institutional company, if you do one, two, three things. And I do it from a recruiter perspective. So I call them as a recruiter and uh, ask them questions and I would tell them, I will pass you or I'll push you to the second round or not and why and give them the evaluation. They work on that and they help kind of, uh, they know they take more ownership. So that's what I focus on, connections and build the connections with uh, people, not just for recruiting, so maybe for mentoring or for informational interviews, so for information. And last, what I focus on, the number four, is uh, motivation. So we talked about application, communication, connections, and then uh, motivation. This is very overlooked aspect of job search. Job search is a very demotivating process. We're not designed as humans to uh, work on something for a long time and you don't see results. So I help them putting goals and milestones and how they hit these milestones. Uh, let's say putting the applications, uh, how many applications you're gonna put this week? Let's say 40 applications. This is a very, very mundane process. It's gonna take a lot of your energy and you're not gonna see results, right? So immediately, so you focus on how you have this uh, motivating part of your job search is very essential. Uh, focus on what, do you, what you have control over like number of applications and reaching out to people, working on your skills, working on your portfolio, working on your resume, you have control over that, right? But you don't have control over the uh, results and the outcomes, like uh, how many people are gonna, gonna call you or how many jobs you can get or offers, right? So how to work on what you have control over and what, how not to worry about what you don't have control over. That's very important in the motivation process. So four things, uh, application, con communication, connections, and motivation.